Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out how to recover data from a hardware RAID 5 built with the help of Windows Storage Spaces on a Windows Server 2019 operating system. I'm going to show you what to do if you can't access your information in such an array after reinstalling the operating system or after a disk failure. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. As we know, Windows Server features an integrated technology to let you create a hot rate system and protect your data. This function is used to keep your files intact in case one or several disks fail, and naturally, the number of those unlocked disks depends on the array configuration. However, issues related to data loss in Windows Server systems don't always boil down to a mere disk failure. Other possible causes may include software errors, incorrect settings, damaged metadata, accidental formatting or removing files, and so on. No matter what happened, but with any of these things you still end up losing some important information and wondering how to get your files back. You'll need to use a specialized utility to restore the lost information from the damaged RAID system. Try Hetman RAID Recovery. This utility supports data recovery from almost all existing RAID types, and the lost information will be back in a moment. It works perfectly with all popular file systems, fixing errors in the hard disk logical structure and recovering the disk contents. Errors in the work of the operating system, for example, those you may encounter during the update process, can cause a critical error, after which your system just refuses to boot again. And the only option left for you is to reinstall it. But what should you do with the RAID system and all the information that's still inside it? After the operating system is reinstalled, it may have problems with recognizing the drives and display them in the disk management as foreign. First of all, try importing them. Right-click on the disk, then select Import Foreign Disks, choose a group and click OK. In the next window, the system will list the volumes it has found on the disks, so click OK to confirm it. After that, all disks will appear in the File Explorer. There could be situations when the import operation fails and some arrays remain inaccessible just like this RAID 5 system. One more scenario is when a hardware failure or another emergency damaged a part of the metadata, or there is a never-ending process of resyncing which makes the disk unavailable for read and write operations. Similar results occur when you accidentally remove a part of the data or format the disk. If any of these nasty things happen to your system, keep calm and use Hetman RAID Recovery. It will scan the disks automatically and display all the information about disks and arrays. As you can see, the program has identified these arrays properties easily. All you have to do is to scan its disks and recover your data. Right-click on the disk and select File Scan. If the file scan can't find the information, then go for full analysis. When the scan is over, select the files you want to restore Click Recovery Specify the directory where you'd like to save the files and click Recover again. In the end, you will find the recovered files in the folder you have chosen. 
if one or several disks fail and the recovery program is unable to identify the array properties, use the RAID constructor tool. Select Manual mode, Next, and provide all the information you know about your disk array. RAID type, block order and size, Select the disks that your storage system uh, used to consist of and specify their order. Add empty disks for the missing ones by clicking on this button. After you've filled in all the properties you know, click Next. The RAID system will appear in the Drive Manager. Right-click on it and start the scan. Select the files you want to restore and click Recovery. Even if more than one disk is damaged, the program can recover the files which are still on the disk. But a part of the data can be damaged, because for this RAID time, losing more than one disk is critical. Actually, the maximum number of disks that, the, that can be missing, with your data still intact, is determined by four types of resiliency supported by storage spaces, and they are as follows. Simple resiliency stripe requires all disks to be available. Two-way mirror and parity types can compensate the absence of one disk. Three-way mirror types can keep on working even if they lose two disks at the same time. If more disks are missing than the storage configuration can handle, the files can be damaged or inaccessible due to lack of redundancy data. In this case, recovering all and never lost files is very difficult. Your best precaution against massive data loss should be backing up important data regularly. So keep that in mind. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Push the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.